guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be recreating this makeup look. I did this makeup look for my birthday and I just thought why not show you guys what I did because I'm already like, I'm a nude and a bronzy type of girl. I never do color, I'm very scared of doing color. So I said, hey, why not? I wore an all black, black outfit so I wanted to make sure my eyes were popping on my birthday. So I went in with a lot of affordable makeup. Um, I mainly sticked with one palette and that was the Morphe palette. I go into detail in the video of exactly what I used. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep on watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that ding bell. I need to learn how to do the look thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For my birthday, I decided to do more of like a pinky reddish look just because I was wearing all black and I usually stick to my nudes. So I decided to do something different and all the makeup that I used was honestly affordable. Yeah, I think it was affordable. Um, so I'll be going in with my Morphe palette. This is the 25C palette and I'll let you guys see what it looks like. Here's all the pretty colors. So I decided to go with like these pinky tones. I wanna get another palette that has like some blush tones I could have used the blush to be honest but whatever so I'm gonna go into this palette and I'm going to start off uh, by priming my eyelids with the elf eyeshadow primer it's like three bucks at Target and let's get started y'all this is the first time I do like an actual makeup like video so I'm kind of like nervous just because I get into my own head um, so you just want to prime your eyes this is honestly I just need to go get a new one but my birthday was on Thursday um, so May 9th and I had such a great time it's kind of hard to like celebrate on the weekends um, well on the weekend just because Mother's Day is Sunday so I can't really like turn up on a Saturday because I have to wake up early and I serve on um, at church it like lands on that Sunday that I served so I had to wake up like at 7 no I had to wake up like at 6 30 and we got home like at 2 30 we ended up going to perch which was pretty cool I had uh, like a really good time um, I don't drink or go out so it was nice to actually hang out and then you like see who your true friends are when they show up and they're there and they communicate with you because a lot of people just don't do that it's okay um, so to start off I will go with this like pinkish this this one there you go that pinkish tone color just to prime all over my eyelids I'm gonna go in with the fluffy brush and it's from Morphe it's the E22 brush it's very fluffy I honestly these are like my everyday makeup brushes that I use so I'm going to be applying that all over my eyelid sorry I need to make sure that you guys could see and I could see at the same time so I like that I like this to be like my transition color and they're very pigmented colors, so I like to just not use a lot, just enough to make sure that everything looks nice and even. I want this to be a little darker, so. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. But I already did my foundation, I did my brows, and I'm just going to do my eyes, my eyes and I should be good. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the first fluffy brush that we used and that was the E22 with for Morphe. Hi Morphe. Gosh, I can't speak today, huh? Okay. And what I like to do is since it's really like ba-bam, I like to just like smooth out the edges. I don't know if other people do this, but I like to. It's like blending it all in together. So it's not, I don't like that like circle effect on the top of my eyes. Like I don't like that. So I like to like make sure everything is nice and smooth and transition together. Isn't that a, like, this is really pretty. I'm so proud of myself. I haven't put any browns around, so don't look at me like I'm a ghost. I know it's not cute. I'm going to go in with this color. I wish I had like names, but it's this dark brown color. I want to get the corners. Um, just darken that up and then that can like give it a smoky look where is that pencil brush yeah right here you could go in with this the other um, brush that you were just using that little fine one from uh, morphe the e17 brush or you could also i like to go in with this one but let me clean it i need to clean my brushes before i like record i thought that would be kind of smart okay 
So I'm going to go in with this E24 brush and it looks like this. Yeah, that looks good. I was like debating if I should like wash this off after and um, go to Disney like with natural makeup. But I just feel like if you do your makeup, why would you wash it off? It looks so pretty. And I'm like, when I did this makeup look, I was like, dang, your makeup look good. I did another makeup look on Saturday when we went to Perch. I used um, some of the products that I got from my BoxyCharm. I blended all that out. So now I'm going to go in with the color for my actual eyelid. My actual eyelids are, I'm looking at the screen. And we're going to go in with this pink color. It's very glittery. Let me zoom in for you guys. Y'all can see it. This is the color we're going in. So I like to use a very compact brush. Um, this is the Morphe R34 brush. It's very compact, very small. Um, I like it just because I want to make sure that I'm putting the eyeshadow exactly where I want it. So for anything that's glitter and shimmery, I like to use um, a type of spray. You could always use the Max Fix Plus, but I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Make Makeup Mist and Set. And it looks like this. I think this was like $3. You're just going to spray it onto your brush. There you go. And then I am going to just grab some product, nice and gentle, and apply it to my eyelid. my under eyes I'm gonna go in with this brown color right here so that's the brown I'm gonna use I'm actually gonna use like uh, another brush it's called an eyeshadow brush by elf it's it's pretty old but I like to use this for my under eyes because it's not so thin but it's not so thick either and I could apply that all over uh, my under eye so I used to not do this and now like after watching YouTube videos I understand like it completes the look 100% I like really pale so I'll be back I'm gonna do some eyelashes and eyeliner and we'll get back to it but this is what the color looks like so now I'm gonna apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and my top lashes to combine my um, eyelashes you always have the option to put eyeliner on I don't really like to put eyeliner on and I should um, I don't know where it's at. Let me see if I can find it. But some mascara goes a long way, doesn't it? Especially that Too Faced mascara. It's so good. Okay, so I found my eyeliner. And this is my favorite eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And it looks like this. It's like a fat pencil. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Nope. Nope. Alright, well, it looks like that. Okay, so um, apply this to your lower lash. And I like it because it's a really dark. Okay. So now we have our eyeliner. We applied our eyelashes, mascara. Now we just need to do our lips. And let's get a lipstick. Um, okay, so I haven't used this one in a very long time. It's one of my favorites. It's the Buxom. This is, this is the first lipstick I ever bought from Buxom. And it's actually my favorite. This is what got me into the Buxom collection. And this is um, Sinful Cinnamon. So good. I love this color. So... Let's apply this all over our lips. Okay. One day I will get my lips done again, but for now, that's what I deal with. Okay, so this is my makeup look. It is like brownish, pinkish. I try to make it into like a smoky look. I did my um, liquid eyeliner with, um, I did it with the NYX matte liquid eyeliner. I like that it's a little brush. I also went in for my bronzer. I had the bronzing MAC powder. It looks like this. This is what I was using in the video. Um, it's almost gone. It's The name of it is, it's actually bronze. So I did that. I did my highlight and I used blush. For blush, I used MAC um, Sunburst and it looks like this. I like that it's not so pink. It just like blends in perfectly. My Glow Sun Dipped Kiss um, palette. And I always use these two colors right here. The uh, Summer and Moonstone. Those are so pretty. This is this is it. Let's do an intro. Y'all like it? Like it. It's nice, huh? I did good. Oh, the stupid thing. I hate that thing. Okay. 
So let's do an intro and I hope you guys enjoy. Finally, I'm doing a video. Finally, finally, finally. Okay. So I think I'm going to be using all, why am I not focused? There we go. Now I'm ready. Okay. Look at, isn't that color already pretty? That color is just already pretty. I just stopped looking at that screen. I am sorry, y'all. I'm very, very sorry. And then I wore these for my birthday. I have the, um, oh, I thought I did have the, um, the fuckboy lashes. Where's my lashes at? 